Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. We are currently going to be entering chapter 9 and um, I'm just going to go ahead and go over what we did in chapter 8. We were Aerith's bodyguard. We met Flower Girl again and found out that her name is actually Aerith and she needed some protection from a couple of Turks. So we gave her the necessary protection until we were able to get her back home safely. Um, Aerith offered us to stay the night at her place and um, she would walk us back in the morning. Um, however, when we walked into Aerith's house and told her mother about these plans, her mother was not too keen on that because she knew that Cloud was a soldier and so asked if she if Cloud wouldn't mind just leaving without any questions being asked. So while we are entering into the game, we um we're gonna be we're gonna be stopped here. We are on our way currently. We're on our way currently um to to back to sector seven so yep that's where we're on our way to and hopefully we make it there okay so here we are this is where I stopped if you need to get any items or anything then please feel free to do so I have gotten all of my weapon intels good is my materia looking a-okay I think so I don't have a heal materia on you. Do I have one on her? I do. Excellent. Okay. And here we are on to oh. chapter nine. Well, look who it is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on, then. With pleasure. <laughs> Cloud? Is something wrong? It's nothing. <sighs> All right. Did you this can see say the that sky. we are in chapter nine now? I'm gonna save. Just because that will actually let me know. And I guess we'll save right on this one. I didn't even see it say chapter 9 if it did say it. We are indeed on chapter 9. They're still right. working on the new plate. Let's get it. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time. But... And that's? The underside of Sector 6. Wall Market, a real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you. I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. 
Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Take the shortcut. All right, let's see. Some nice boxes over here that look very delightful. Smash. After you, madam. And here we are in the sector. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way. It'll be an adventure. I think I, I got your number. Oh, I've already killed you. That's it. There we go. Nothing. Well, this kind of is pretty linear. So. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Do I have anybody with arrow on? I'll show you what I can do. Oh my god, that was quite a bit of damage actually coming out of her. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh. Treasure chest. Moogle metal. Let's go on down here. Oh great. The ladder's all the way Almost up there. Up the ladder. It's a great thing we have a control panel I wonder right if we can use us. this. It's saying use... Yeah, this is literally what it's saying. It's Whoa. just giving me the directions without giving me the directions. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Okay. Well, we're gonna offer her a ride. the ladder down just like that well what did I tell you I don't know how that don't hurt her feet you did it yeah <laughs> uh. hmm? all right good enough let's keep on trucking hmm. no high fives not for you <laughs> Stop. Did we make it up? We sure did. Oh, this is a piece of prototype. That's the We've not fought one of these. No, we sure have not. Keep it together. Here goes. Yeah. Keep my distance if 
at all because of all the monsters that kept showing up pretty dangerous place for kids to play raised in the slums remember you're tough hmm that's supposed to be a compliment where is i was about to say i know there's definitely a ladder somewhere and a chest Two high potions. I have a lot of eight potions, so that's why I'm just going through them right now. Why not, right? Spoiler alert, once you finish this game, you can go into hard mode. In hard mode, you cannot use any of your items. So, that's why I am using all the items that I can now because once I play this game over again, then I will be unable to use the items that I have gotten from this playthrough. Leave this to me. I'm Let's go. <laughs> Getting that shit off. And there's a chesty with a G bar sitting in it. And there's a that I guess we don't have to fight. Oh, so we can go one of two ways. We can go this way or we don't have to go this way. We can go... Hmm. Hey, I bet you can grab that container with the arm. I don't think he's ever seen a high five before. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well, right, well. I'm gonna head down.
on a second. Gotcha. Well, let's give her another ride. I'm able to go this way, I'm not. <laughs> That's the other entrance that you could have taken to get over here. And then you would have just operated this train handle down here. I'm sure that there's one down there. Cloud, over here! Ooh, a bench. And well, some music. jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. That's it. We have a little bit of MP that we have used. We'll skip originally this music. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. So it's my turn? Oh, Here he comes! Bring it! Get ready! Hey, you asked for it. I'm backing off a bit. Sorry, but I gotta. I think we're almost done. Hey, I don't know if I'm you asked for it. I guess I can check. There's a ladder. Too fast, okay? Got it. Got it. Got the echo mist, baby. We're jamming, 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 jamming. Come on, hurry up now. I know that you're gonna yell at me if I if I keep going too far in front of you. And here we are. Open the door. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. Still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? <clears throat> I need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys. Caught us some burglars. <laughs> Coming into our homes and stealing our shit, doing crimes. <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Campament composite. I don't get it. <sighs> How stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> Compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah, we were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? 
nothing but our due recompense. That's all. <laughs> due recompense. Due recompense. Due, due recompense. <laughs> no, shit, brains. Due recompense. It's like uh, uh, it's like uh, 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 damages. Uh, uh, of course, so I recompense. I can't I, can't it. I think we've heard enough. Oh no, I wanted to. I'll take care of it. Shit. Too bad. Shit. What the? Allow me. I can only do three again. Well, that's okay. Okay, guys, whatever you do, don't move. Don't look. Don't look. I'm super dead. I'm dead. I'm like super dead. Don't leave me, I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Why? Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Uh Trying to assess these bandits, wait to fire, switch the prototype again. I'd keep my distance if I were you. Damn, cuz. Come on, why you gonna hit me with that? Get him! That was close. Try this. It's on you. I'm coming! Why don't you lead the Take way? Oh, it's a good thing that you saw it. But I guess I sure didn't. But I wasn't really looking if I'm a Kiva 100. So, let me check. Hello. So, this one. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. It's not confusing. Okay, Clash, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? Switch away. We need to go over here. There we go. Oh, no. can we go? Can I go all the way this way? I can. Oh, nice. with the come on now 
probably can swap her back over to this way. Get that materia, baby. Do some work. Gotcha. Mm -mm. I think we switch on here, right? Hot Aerith. Oh no 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 I don't wanna offer you a ride. God damn it. Get back off. God damn it, you're so slow getting on this thing. It's okay. Can I drop her off? I was gonna say. I think that they should have given us the option to grab the container and pick up Aerith. Baby, come on over here and get yourself a ride. <sighs> they haven't been to Cotton Eye Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Dump the dump the broad. step drop the broad off thanks for the lift I'll have that ladder down for you in a sec nice Well, sure did. <laughs> uh, oh, huh? wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Missed your opportunity. Don't worry. We'll 
be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? You should be. Hold it right sorry there! You. Well, <laughs> All right. You want to pass through our territory? Oh, yeah. Then you better be the core. Take the lead. You've got this. Let's do this. We made it. Smell the fresh air. Nice. Let's get on through here. Hello. Oh, there we go. Now we're giving the uh, arrow. Cloud, up top. Psych! No, I'm just playing. All right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> He's like, I thought that would be more exhilarating. And here we are. Sector All six. All right, there it is. The gate to sector slum. seven. It looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for- Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh yeah? Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? You probably know him. Uh, are you okay? Oh. Wow. Uh. Your eyes. Oh. It's because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. First person that she ever loves name because Cloud had a had this a won't moment. take long. <sighs> Ready. <sighs> Wanna get to sector seven in style? This is the passageway for you.
don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer, too. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Yeah. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Also... Didn't Tifa baby just look so exceptionally good in that oh, dress? Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Come on. Okay. All right, let's go find that girl. Come on, Cloud. We got to hurry. Excellent. All nice and healed up. Ready to go to Wall Market. Hi, Sam. Oh, wait, you're not Sam. Hey there. Where are you headed? You gave a ride to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... What's all the ruckus out here? Uh, I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl here? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what she look like? Well, Tifa is in great shape. She's also a great fighter. And we don't know about them books because we handled it for She's her. She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh. Looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. <sighs> And there goes our best lead yet. Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Cool. Let's go see what Walmart's about.
Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Indeed. Let us go. We got a nice jukebox over here with some music. Excellent. So we got a nice treasure chest up here with some candy. Nice music. Hey there. We're a pharmacy, but we stock other stuff too. Honey be in. Thanks a bunch. We'll be stopping by there later. Thanks for the song. Chadley. Cloud. I will go wherever my research leads me. But the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Well, I've done everything. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. Excellent. Fat Chocobo. We'll take that on. Monster Bio. Assess 20 types of enemies. We've done that. The Stagger Effect. Increase Stagger Damage to 200. Refocus. We have to use the Refocus twice. Stagger Effect again. Stagger 40 enemy types. This is going to be fun. Let's take on this fat chocobo. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Oh, that. I've done it. I've developed a new material. I finished that. VR missions. Fat chocobo, hold on. I look forward to receiving all of your future battles. No, I don't want to save. I want to go here. Who's got the fire? It's Aerith. Yeah, we're gonna put that on cloud. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my Alright, here we go. Let's then I invite you to ready mobile. your portable battle simulator. Actually, not weak to anything. I don't know why. Uh... Go on. Oh, 
Have fun. Amazing work, Cloud. This is incontrovertible proof that the universe has a sense of humor. Now that you have a fun new partner in Fat Chocobo, you can work together to squash Shinra like a bug. Cool. I all look right. forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. And look at who we find. Warmth, relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Oh, that's what I need. I've done it again. Hello, Monsieur Johnny. Oh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She kept looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. Tifa, I'm coming, baby. Damn. Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. All right, well, we know who Johnny is. And we just cleared that. Let's keep going with the uh, main story. There is indeed a weapon store though that we're gonna hit. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. And we are gonna grab this for ourselves. Do I have one of these? I do, and I think I already have it equipped on Aerith. Do come again. Check it out. Uh. I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Cool. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at Don Corneo's crib. Pretty sure there's another chest over here. I 
don't think there is anything else. Over nope, nothing. All right, here we go. Let's enter the big old cribbo. Three guys. What's good, gentlemen? Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. We will indeed be back soon. sure about this if you've got any better ideas not really so that's the way it is hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate huh but to earn such a privilege you must first win the approval of one of the trio right meaning I now know what I must do to save her stay strong Tifa help is on the way Johnny's coming baby <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in this. Okay. I already got that chest. There's nothing down this way. I already got that sword. So That's not open yet. We're gonna come back here later with the weight room. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did it wait? And there's weights in here. Yes. Gimme, gimme. A headband. Nice. Excuse me, Aerith. Is there anything back here? I don't think I've ever actually gone back here. Oh, can I get by you guys? Excellent. I think we can go in here. And we can talk with you. Hey there. Are you looking for anything in particular today? I guess not. Not yet, at least. Hmm. Alright, I guess the last thing that I'm gonna do real quick is... Well, not the last thing. Because I'm gonna do this right now. This sword contains a lot of damage, isn't it? We go in all gas. Aerial damage, no. Punisher damage, yes. Crippling damage, sure. Need to hit them pops. Attack damage, duh. How much is this? 12. Damn. Yeah, I figure why not just get the aerial damage right. I think that's fine with me. Alright, let's go get these uh, trio knocked out. Which one are we going to go to first? Which one is this? 
Oh, that's Sam. All right, yeah, sure. Let's go out. I think it's out this way. Oh. <laughs> it is, right? Yeah, it is. Thinking. Well, stupid, stupid, stupid. Sam, what's good, Johnny? What happened to you, my guy? Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa. She's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Cornell will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Miffy. Head or tail? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. All right, we're going with heads. Heads. Tail, you lose. <sighs> hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skip daddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Two-sided coin. Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. Okay, well we got Sam's coin. Now we just have two other people that we need to talk to. One of them is this way. <sighs> Madam M. Oh. No, we're not gonna talk to her first. See the sign out front? All I got is material. We'll see what you got. Thanks, nah, buddy. I don't need anything. Yeah, I'm not gonna do Madam M just yet. I'm gonna go and do. Oh, where am I going? I'm trying to look at the map that's like in front of me, you know. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, it's over this way. Here it is. Damn, man. Is this place to go down like this? Think so. I just wanted to see Andrea. Curse my weak will. But then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Well, let's do this. Wow. <laughs> Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh... Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. 
Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Well, we have one hey. and only Go. one more person that is the first time in my life sitting in the premiere section. It took me oh, oh my god, I finally get to meet But first, I believe we can talk to somebody. Hello. <gasps> what? Do you remember her? Uh, aren't you that leaf house? Uh, hey, what the hell, Mark? Digging into people's personal affairs in this town is a huge no-no. What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, I've wanted to be a dancer ever since I was a little girl. I come here at night to live the dream. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell the children, okay? Yeah, your secret's safe with us. I've always wanted to dance for a living. Yep. So, you find Miss Fulia. I believe it's her name. Oh, it's a great thing that Eric Gotta didn't come. Sharp, though. Lifetime bands, a lifetime Should've band. Should've been like, oh, shit. Come on, old man. This way. If I'm not mistaken, I would like or not. I still uh, get confused trying to navigate Wall Market. Okay, where am I going? Okay, this is the incorrect uh -huh. way to go. Mm -hmm. This is the correct way to go. Excellent. Yeah. the two of you step right up now then what manner of massage do you desire say what is this your first time in our establishment mm -hmm. we are a hand massage parlor an excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain it is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don Cook. Of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. <sighs> uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... <laughs> hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Yeah, we getting that motherfucker luxury course. <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back. And wait. Cloud? <laughs> we ready this for this. This exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, 
the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> She walking out like my work if that was is your liking, finished. Do come again. Right. How was it? Huh? Oh, we're playing You Eric. okay? Yeah. Hello. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am. Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? All right then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. I can go around the desk. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm. Okay. Really? But you cannot go dressed like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's all right, I guess. <laughs> oh, you. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What a I million say. gill. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Okay. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I actually do want to check I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? Huh? You got Gil? Okay. I appreciate the confidence. Just don't get too cocky, okay? No. Nope. You gotta think about the combination. All right. Well, let's go and um do this tournament, shall we? Ripping off you and me. Oh. And I just realized just now that I didn't even put this on. No. And 
and I also realized that I could take this off. Comes with me into sleep. Into the battle with a slightly filled APB. Look at this sword. This sword is so badass. <laughs> Here we go. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Okay. Does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Hey! Here we bumper. go. got potions and a vending machine and a bench. We will sit. You two, wait here until it's time. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the sky. Damn, cuz. Oh. <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So, I signed up for the preliminaries and... Well... I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but... If you can make a run for it, you should. <laughs> Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. Well, Johnny literally just told us 
Don't do it. And Aerith said, do it, bitch. I'm going to keep that on. I'm going to keep... Mm, I don't know if I want to put that on, actually. Mm, I want to keep that going. I want to keep that going. I want to keep that going. I don't need this. I don't need this. Mm. Oh, that's what I want. I was like, what was I going to look for? That's it. All right. Ooh, what is this? It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. I'll taste it. I've never done this before, actually. I didn't even know that, that was a thing. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? Hmm. All right. Well, let's get this. You going two on. ready? Yeah. Try not to get yourselves killed. I'll be back here before you know it. If I'm a better, I'm setting the line for this first round. don't make sense yeah true but maybe it'll be better in the next match nah wouldn't bet on it better to expect the worst
Cloud and Eric. Your match will begin shortly. Please make your way Excellent. to the gate. Well, that was some bullshit. Bruh, you got rocked, fool. Alright, well. First lines were in. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Second line, I'm gonna put it. Just remember, try not to die. A little better. We're gonna go with minus 1,000. For the second match in our space, back to the semifinals. Fresh from their first date with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric. all of them real quick. There we go. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call him. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, Maybe I'll land in your part of the world tomorrow. 
That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking of far, I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Yep. Let's go sit. Our prayer material upgraded as well, which is very, very, very high. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. All right, Please well. make your way to the gate. Look at all the flowers. Not bad, not bad. You done, Does man. this mean I don't gossip like dead no more? Damn, you two are really something else. I could use that kind of muscle in my game. So hungry. Damn. He didn't get his just desserts. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? We are indeed good to go. You've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling tornado cup. Filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Let's go. The sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud and Eric! Taking this rather well. 
I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> that is now that that's BS. over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the crowd loved your show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that?! <gasps> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit fester you asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. We do indeed sure hope so. Let's go heal. Because we used quite a bit of MP. Okay. Excellent. All right, let's go and talk to this man. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? And we are going to say obviously yes. It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. <laughs> The dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far! Cloud and Aaron! Cloud! Cloud! Over here! Look at them! They're so adorable! You're the man, Cloud! Aaron, I love you! Mommy me! Their opponent, buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, the long in prison. Check free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Huh? The Hell House, please. Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? 
You have not. No, sir, you have not. There'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come. Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen. The Cup's final battle begins now! Hey, wow. It is weak. Okay. Darn Corneo's secret weapon. A monster in the form of a house. No one knows how it was built. When it shifts barriers, hit it with opposing elements such as ice or fire or lightning or wind to rapidly fill its stagger gauge. When God House mode is active, act, uh, attacks will be less effective at filling the gauge. For a short time after this mode ends, it will be easier to stagger. Okay. It has a couple of nice steel. Alright. Let's uh the meanest of the mean is this thing up. What can they handle? The horror of the hellhound! So it's my turn? Oh, that's yes, yeah, my guy. This one's for you. Don't catch a cold. That'll now it's just step two. Right. Oh, it just hit it again, bro. There we go. Go in. We go and do sauce on this bitch. That's her level two. Wait. It's almost disappointing. No. Not yet.
Just a little shit out. Oh man, yeah, it's a great thing that I did. That one I did, huh? Oh. Cotton little stuffed animals are ready to die! Goodbye! Cloud at my guy, what? Sorry, but you ain't. Why are you over here hiding? Get ready! That'll do! Get him! <laughs> 
Excellent. We just finished with this, and now this guy's... We didn't talk to him before, but now his shop is up and running. With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection you'll ever need. He sells Mr. Cuddlesworths. And Fuzzy Wuzzy. All these things are is essentially cute stuff, explosive animals. We're not gonna buy Only any. a few left. Get yours while you can. There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Okay, so we can go into the Coliseum whenever we want to now. And we are actually going to go ahead and take advantage of that right now. Because we get Cloud and Aerith's um, second um, limit break off of this. So we're going to go ahead and scoobly boobly toobly that jubly jubly real quickers. And here we go. Come on. That's good. Come on. That just won't do. It's a great thing that I love. Excellent. Now that we are all healed, ready, and good to go, we shall gather to this man's here. Hey, been keeper. waiting for you. So, what are you in the mood to fight? We're gonna do this. Oh yes. Enough. Guns out. Was never in doubt. No. 
that shit we've obtained clouds level two limited break very hyper uh screen selection yes please we already finished this yes we're gonna take Aerith now Oh my god! That was pretty nice. Too bright? Fuck you. Super close one. Okay. Go 
fucking Christ, bro. Oh my god, get up. 
Holy shit. It's like god damn. Get off. Oh my god, he's using this fucking thing right now. Oh my god, I'm dead. Rip off. Rip off. Wow. I'm here and you turned out to be. Holy shit. I need to fight these uh little goony gooners. Oh shit, I meant to hit re-challenge. Alright, hopefully we can get that out of the we're going for here. Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. That'll do! This one's for you! Why don't you lead the way? Let's do this. Get him! Done, done. Cool. Come back anytime you want to fight. And that is it for now. And the way that you go into your, um, how you activate, like, your second limit break or whatever, I will show you that in one second after we go up here. So, 
we go to battle settings, I believe, and then we go to the person that we want to do it. And we can go to level two. Healing wind. Nullifies physical damage dealt to all party members. Pipe. And listen to the applause that we get for winning. Nice. You know, there's some really cool people that you can talk to in this game. This is mm, the person that we can talk to. Congratulations on winning the it tournament. Is Johnny's father. You're an impressive fighter. I know that you'll be a great influence on my Johnny. Why, you might even end up having a friendly rivalry. You can spur each other to greater heights. I can see it. You two will become great friends. The best of friends. <laughs> well, he has some very optimistic thinking. Let's see. I've done some of this stuff I for you. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future nope. battles. Not yet. Back to Madame M. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Mark. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around, comes around. And in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm gonna put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? We are indeed All right, then. ready. Let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Oh, being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. Alright. Well, we're gonna take a peek. I guess we can't. Oh, maybe it's this way. I thought I told you. No peeking. Did you say the same thing? You have a lot of nerve. Hmm. How old are you? I thought I told you. No people. Okay, I guess it goes back to the beginning. They call themselves <laughs> bang. Relax, man. Honey, Madam M said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. 
There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect you while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Okay, and now we have quests that we are able to do. So, I am going to do the side quest. And, um, I think we will meet up so that we're going to meet up over here. Okay, so huh? I'm going to go side questing. When I'm finished side questing, I will meet you guys right back here. So, uh, if you want to check out the side questing videos, then go on and uh, obviously go ahead and check it out. Nothing's stopping you. I'm certainly not. I would love for you guys to watch it. Um, but yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, and so we just finished up doing the side quest for chapter 9 and Sam just told us that we should go and speak with Tifa because let us finish yep. we should go back to Madame M's parlor that's what we were told check it on Aerith most definitely Cloud finally <sighs> Tifa she I Tifa she, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. If I can't get this, this is going to ham. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said. The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, whoosh, whoosh, mm. you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to... Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. <sighs> Go find Aerith at Madame Mims. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir. All right. Well, let's go and check this out. Hello, sir. Mr. You again? Mr. Got a letter sir. of approval right here. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Okay. And here, I believe we see Aerith. Hey, get out of the way! Quit talking! Move it! Move it! Come on!
Hey ya. That's really Yeah. Corneo's got certain tastes. This dress is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, uh, yeah. Cloud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Mm-hmm. So Aerith has just joined our party. I'm gonna go ahead and pause here if I can. And I'm gonna go to materia and equipment because Aerith did, oh wait, wait, wait. Actually, I'm gonna go to upgrade weapons. Aerith just got a brand new weapon. We're doing a side quest. The last side quest was planned. So we will see what I can have in here. Okay. We like what we've seen so far, you know. Magic power, MP, MP. Damn, this is gonna be a big. Oh, hold on. Damn, this is a huge magic. No, this is a huge magic jump. I guess we're having her be ice. Eight SP. Yeah, we're gonna be chilling with that for a minute. Three slot. Oh man. I don't think we'll need any of that. Oh, look at that refocus though. Look at those stats that it gave Cloud. start that as well. And we did get another. Oh, we have a couple. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I wanted to mess with some stuff right there. Oh. And we got everything in and done. Completed. Bum voyage. Where is Eric taking us?
to the honey bee in of course. Why are we here? To see the honey bee inns Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? Oh man. Alright, I guess we, uh... We're about good to evening. Some stuff. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honey Bee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. What stage should I go to? The one in the back. Go to the one in the back. Oh, okay, so which one? The one in the back. Let's not go to the one in the back. Oh man. Watch the stinger, sweetie. <laughs> what shape am I making? Mm. <gasps> this circle? Johnny's father. Man. Uh, uh, huh? Who's there? Uh, uh, whatever. I'm having trouble seeing this thing. What's the answer? Is that a triangle? Down to the right? That's definitely gotta be a circle. Aw, that's a wrong answer. Man. Oh. You know what? Oh, I get you. Try again. No chest in here. Hey there, doll face. We've been waiting for you. Come on in. Have a seat. No, I'm not here for. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. I think you might have wandered into the wrong room by mistake. Shucks. You would have been a fun distraction. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go to where we need to get to. And here's the man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. 
Let's go to the stage. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. No, we don't need to practice again. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you, hey, you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, he's flushing. Brave my favor must first prove that they know how to move.
that, 100%. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! of the heart, a thing without shape, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid of it. That show today blew my mind! Hey, look at me! Mm -hmm. I can dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. I'll buy it you was a amazing. drink. We can talk. Was it planned from the start? Oh, probably no. not. Did you see now that? That was a show. Cloud? Um, I'm going to perform on stage this time. She's not talking to me, me. Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello? Please don't. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! I would give anything to get to know her! Hmm. She's yeah. definitely not like you and me. Oh, I can go this way. Take me with you! It's stronger than you ah. expect. That mercenary's been helping out all over. Like Whoa! Be still my heart hits the girl of my dreams. What did I just get? 
Am I dead? Did these beautiful angels come for me? These guys are bugging. Okay, well. Here we go. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Excellent. We got through the main gates. We have breached the hall. Finally. The two up, of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your You can't afford a single thing in this place, so don't break shit. You can't afford a single thing okay. in this place, so don't break shit. Well, let's check to see nothing behind here. Alright. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? And she's hot. Hey, hands to yourself. Okay. That Andreas girl? I'd let her do things Go to me. Go to your room and wait. Why? Goddamn. Room's at the end. I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, 
It would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. Right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> okay. And now we have. So what happens now? The party. I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Let's find some music. And some items. Stock up on some stuff, right? In here. So, now, ladies, listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. Hmm. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? He doesn't even give me the option of going through this door. BS. Here we go. Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. <sighs> Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Lady? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! Today's bride to be is... Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! Okay, okay ladies. Y'all come with me. Don't 
be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. So, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Boom! That's some WWE type John that you see in this time. Good job, Eric! It was nothing compared to you! <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Cool. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Molly Cocktail. Better hurry. Let's see. Yeah, we have everybody equipped. Now we can go in these other rooms. Man, I oh, no, 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 no. quality time because like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. Maybe not. I don't think it's gonna let me go downstairs. I see. Go oh, on. Sure it is. No. <laughs> One more no. shot.
going back in that room. There's something in there. Not here. Better hurry. Obviously. Is this just the room that I was just in? It is. Wow. Nope. This is definitely not the room that I was looking for. to do that one of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners sorry but your boys had to learn some manners too what the cloud your clothes Questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. 
And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. That is when they're faced with certain deaths, when they think they've already won, or when they've lost their minds. When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs>